We had to draw straws this morning to see who got what chore. So me and Emily lucked out. Crystal and Darren drew the shortest straw. We are going to be cleaning the pen while Emily and Derek don't have quite as dirty as a job. I feel kind of like I won the lottery. Um, harvesting amaranth is so much better than cleaning out uh, goat pens, especially in all this wind. At least I got my boy here to help. It's going to be fun. So fun. The only loser really here is the hot water heater because it'll be struggling to keep up with the amount of hot water Crystal will use to wash all that stuff off of her and out of her hair. Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. Good morning. May. May. Come on out of hiding, girl. Lucky. Silly. Oh, Prego. How's it going, little bit? How are your chickies? Well, they're doing well. What, baby? They're doing better, but... Better? You, you kind of can't put their food there. They won't race over here. They'll just be like, hide. Hide for your life. Yeah, they're scared of you. Well, that's good, because then they won't run out. We're not trying to make pets out of them, I guess. Uh, no, but we're trying to make eggs out of them. Well, they'll lay their eggs. About to move Lucky and his lady, so wish us luck again. He's been doing pretty good with it, but you never know. Everest they haven't been fed quite yet so we need to hurry up so that we can move them up here and get their pen clean as well so the trick is to stay upwind of all of this goat poop dust so years ago when we moved to the desert I uh, tried to plant a garden I planted all the same stuff that I grew back up north and uh, nothing worked so I ended up going to a native seed store in Tucson to get na stuff native to my environment. And one of the things they turned me on to was this amaranth. Um, I, I, I grew, I had success growing it, I saved some seeds, and then life got busy, and we hadn't planted it again until this year at the new ranch. So the chickens love the seeds, the, the goats love the leaves, and they eat the stalks and stuff, but... So the only human use that I had ever heard of for it was grinding it into flour and that just doesn't sound like very much fun and very productive. But the other night I was YouTubing and, uh, and I found some lady cooking it and it looked like grits or something. So I thought, I hope, I hope we can get enough to at least try that because if the family likes it, if it tastes good, if everybody agrees with it, this stuff grows really well here and I could grow, you know, 30, 40 meals worth a year and and that's what it's all about if you can grow 30 mils of this and 30 mils of that and so on you can you can grow a bunch of your own food so we're gonna get get going on harvesting this
green pen. All right, we got the easy one done. Now we're gonna move those other goats up here to this pen so they can get it dirty really fast. And, yeah. And give them some pellets or something up here. Hey guys! You're, okay. Take it a second to hide from that wind. I bet Derek's over there having all kinds of fun. Him and Emily. Stupid straws. Your grumpy dog? He's so big and fluffy, man! So who is your favorite dog, Emily? I have two favorites, but my favorite 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 out of the two favorites is very private. <laughs> you afraid they'll get mad at you? Yeah, I don't want Boo to know that. I don't want Anna to know that I like another dog. And More than her? What? No, no. I never said that for a reason. I knew this was gonna happen. Although Anna's cuteness is way over her level. So. All of the amaranth has been harvested from these four flower pots, and I'm excited to never water them again this year. <laughs> and Emily is almost done. But the thing is, let me see your hands. So I don't like Emily. Pink hands. I've caught you red-handed, Emily. <laughs> really pink-handed. 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 This one just kind of looks like black color. It's like. Why? But we don't have four pots to do. We did five because this is That's one. right. There was a little one right there. Right there. Yep. He caught We've me. almost got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. All we got to do is that next to you and this stuff right here. Are you up for it? Yeah. For my hands to be more pink. <laughs> All right, two wheelbarrows full from their walkway. They like to kick their poop out. And that is some pileage. This pen was much dirtier. What, are you making a fort out of that? Or are you gonna block yourself in? <laughs> it's that time of year where it's super cold in the morning, gets down to the 40s at night. You wake up at 60, and it's probably like 80 something now. So you gotta dress in layers. And it's really hot right now, and this wind is like 20 miles an hour. So we're getting whirl whipped around with the poop dust, and it's, it's great. I'm not pulling straws again. <laughs>
right, so that was a lot of uh, wheelbarrows of poop. Um, we got both of those pens done, and now we still got to clean their water bucket out. Uh, they get really, really dirty and green and algae around here because of the sun. So about once a week, every water gets cleaned. We just kind of go through and, and we siphon it to a tree so that something is getting that water that we, that we clean out. Good teamwork today, huh? Yeah. Killed it. What about you? But I think I need a shower. Yeah, you can shower in the hose, okay? Take a little bird bath in there. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're about done, and we got that water almost filled, and then we're gonna siphon one more, and then we'll go see what Emily and Darren are doing. Kind of thought they'd be over here checking on us before we were checking on them, but we made quick work. All right, you guys ready to come back in here? May. Oh. What's going on, guys? Oh, Harvin's harvesting some amaranth. Oh. What are you doing? I don't know. That looks like a rough job, guys. It really is. You've done a lot more than you think. It's equal to or greater than cleaning goat pens. No. Yeah. Lies. Cleaning goat pens? That would be way easier. Way easier. Let me see your hands, Emily. No. Let's not... see them. Ah, they're so pink. <laughs> this one's just, there's more black spots on every, it's just, mm -hmm. why? This one's lighter. It's also on the fingers. Looks like you're using that hand more than. It's on the fingers. I don't know. It may never come off. Uh, it looks like you're wearing nail polish. You'll be red-handed forever. Well, goat lovers, I'm done for now. I'm going to go get in the shower. Okay, so Emily and I got this whole bucket here of amorous seed and some other crap in it. Maybe a bug or two. And now we are going to screen it using this screen into this bucket. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. So we've been a few pinches of that. Look at how much we've got. So we definitely have enough for dinner. You want to show us how the system works, Emily? Yeah. You just grab a little handful of seeds, not too much. My spill up more. Get in there, mix it around. Get all that seed. Yes, I do. Grab all that, most of that big stuff out. Put it in a little scrap bowl for your chickens. Mix it around a bit more. Then that look for any extra seeds. Done. Carefully dump it out in this crack. Yeah, do it again until you're done. Until you're done. You think you'll be done today? Probably. So that's how much amaranth we were able to harvest from, we didn't really have that many plants. Um, the recipe says you only need one cup for a meal, so I don't, I'm not an expert on it, but I bet there's 20 meals in there. Um, we still need to separate some of the shaft from it, but it needs to dry out a little more, so we're done with the amaranth for today. That's a lot. Good work guys. So now that we got all cleaned up, feeling a lot better, no grit in my teeth and whatnot, um, I thought it would be a perfect day to open another cheese. So let's show you guys what it looks like. So this here is the third Colby that I made. Um, 
I thought I lost it. I was looking in my hillbilly cheese cave, like where is this other Colby? I know I had two more left. Um, well, I did, except for I wrote cheddar on it, so I had it in the cheddar stack. I don't know why I did that, but I know which one it is because it was the last one um, I did and I waxed it really pretty, so I was able, I put cheddar three because it's the third cheddar that I made. Uh, Derek's always kind of getting on me about not writing things down as much as I should or ever, but I kind of feel like I vlog things, so I just have to go back and look in video, so that's kind of better. I should start writing things down. But anyway, here we got our Colby. So I do, like I mentioned, I do have another Colby in the Hillbilly Cheese Cave that is a little bit older. Um, and this one is almost exactly two months old. The first one that we opened was three months old. But I wanted to open it at two months, it just, just didn't happen. So I want to kind of get a different um, gauge the different aging and, and how long because a Colby at two months old in theory you can open it's supposed to be creamy and have really good flavor um, so I want to open this one simply because I didn't get to try the other one at two months old um, it was again it was about three months so the one we have that's older than this one is right around three months I'm gonna age it for I'd say to five months but probably more like four months um, just to get the different, the different tastes, the different textures, and whatnot. As, as we're learning, I want to know, you know, the different stages of, of the aging process for each cheese. So I only made three this year, and this bad boy was the last one I made. This one we actually even colored with an auto. So I'm pretty excited to cut this bad boy open. I bet you it's going to be really pretty. And come here, you guys. I want to show you something. So something I've been checking for to see if the cheeses have a little bit of give. Um, I've noticed that when I cut them open, if, if they're really hard, they don't seem to be that creamy um, or, you know, meltable for that matter. So check this out. You guys, I am excited. So as pretty and exciting as it looks in here, uh, let's break this bad boy open and see what's inside. Alright, uh, cutter, oh my gosh, it feels creamy guys. Tell you right now, that's pretty color. Are we ready? Look at that. It's got some holes in it. Didn't press it all out, but that's okay. See a little bit of the grease here, too. That wax just comes right off. Greasy. Alright, oh my goodness. That feels like a very soft, delicious cheese. Let's smell it. Oh my god, that smells delicious. Okay, let's taste it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm like so almost positive, almost positive, if that's even a thing, that this is going to melt. I can just tell. It feels really creamy. Okay. You guys, that it really does smell good. Let's alright. That is so good. By far the creamiest cheese. That's a creamy cheese. And it's gonna melt. 
and it has a delicious flavor. Definitely not as sharp as the three month old, but still has like a sharp, a sharpness to it that like store bought Colby would not have. So it's, oh my goodness, it's delicious. I bet you this sucker's gonna melt. So good. Yay! That's exciting, folks. What you think? It's so creamy. It is creamy. Really good. Can it melt? We're working on it, kid. My goodness, one step at a time. How does it taste? You can never do one step at a time. <laughs> when it comes to cheese. Okay, do you love it? Mm. Is it a winner winner? It's a really good one. If it can melt, it'll be the uh, best one ever. You think so? Mm -hmm. Even after the other one? Yeah. All right. Are you ready for this? Probably not. Do you want to try it? I do. You're teasing me yeah. with the cheese. <laughs> All right, try it. Oh, man. Yeah? Oh, that's good. It's creamy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's so soft. That's good. Flavor good? Mm-hmm. You think it'll melt? Yeah. You think so? I do, too. Let's check it out. <laughs> winner, winner. All right, so I'm going to shred a little bit of this up and see if it melts on our little pan method. And if it does... I got some green chilies, some peppers that I'm going to shred some cheese and, and melt on some peppers because that sounds delicious. And we'll see how it shreds. Oh my goodness, look at that you guys. So smooth. Oh my gosh, this cheese is amazing. Even this makes me happy. Okay, I don't want to use too much just to see if it melts. Here we go. Alright guys, here we go. You know, somebody told me in one of the comments, if I scrape this pan with this fork, it's going to ruin this pan. That's okay girl, this ain't a good pan. And we wait. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Look, starting. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be the best one. Look at this. You guys. Let's just look at it again because that's cool. Look, look. Feeling like I've won something right now. I got to tell you guys, delicious. Look at that. Okay, one more time. Look. Last time it burnt me. There you have it, you guys. This cheese is awesome. I'm so, 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 so excited about it. Um, it's delicious. It's creamy. Definitely the creamiest one we've had. Not the sharpest taste we've had, but the shortest we've aged it. So. Um, actually, the cheddar was two months old, and that was a lot sharper tasting, but that's besides the fact. This cheese is amazing. This is our third attempt at Colby. Still got the second attempt in the cheese cave, but that's okay. Um, loving it. So, I'm going to cut me up some peppers and 
Melt some cheese in them. Those peppers smell good. So all I did was cut some chili peppers in half, took the seeds out of them, I put them in the oven in this pan for about 10 minutes to get them a little bit soft because I didn't want to put the cheese directly into them right away because all the cheese would melt out and the peppers wouldn't really be cooked. So anyway, and then took them out, put the cheese in, put them back in for another 5-10 minutes and here we have peppers. Typically we would wrap bacon around them, that's something we do frequently. Um, you know, it's a big common thing nowadays, uh, the bacon wrapped cheese stuffed peppers, they're delicious but we're having a bacon salad. So we'll have these on the side of our bacon salad this evening. And thank you guys so much for watching and being here with us. Uh, it was a pretty good day. Got a lot accomplished. Derek got to play with some flowers with Emily. Uh, me and the boy got some quality time in, got some pens cleaned, some waters cleaned, and cut open the best cheese that we have so far. So, good day. Again, thank you guys for watching. See you again soon.